In this presentation, we will be discussing miscellaneous uh, orbital pathologies of variable etiologies. Uh, we will start with acute dectroadenitis. Acute dectroadenitis may be idiopathic or due to viral, for example, mumps, Epstein Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, or rarely bacterial infection. The lacrimal gland is often involved in uh, uh, IOID. Chronic conditions such as sarcoidosis, Sjogren syndrome, thyroid disease, and some chronic infections usually give a less acute onset and involvement can be bilateral. Patients present in acute disease with the rapid onset of discomfort in the region of the gland. Lacrimal secretions can be reduced or increased and discharge may be reported. Swelling of the lateral aspect of the eyelid overlying the palpebral lobe leads to the characteristic S-shaped doses as it is seen in the uh, picture on the top. Um, and enlargement of the orbital lobe uh, may give uh, a slight downward and inward dystopia. Occasionally, uh, proctosis and other signs of the orbital disease may also uh, be seen. There is tenderness over the lacrimal gland and injection of the conjunctiva uh, overlying the palpebral lobe may be seen on the upper leg version as it is seen in the uh, uh, bottom picture. Chemosis may be present. Uh, they may be local. For example, pre auricular lymph node enlargement. Now, CT scan shows enlargement of the gland involvement, and uh, uh, you can see that uh, here in this uh, CT scan picture, uh, there is uh, enlargement of the gland and calcification of the adjacent tissues. There. Adjacent tissues are also opacified. Uh, but there is no bony erosion. The later suggested tumor. Biopsy is sometimes indicated, particularly to exclude the tumor. Treatment varies according to the cause, but in many cases it is not required. Now, discussing Telosa Hunt syndrome. Uh, it is a rare idiopathic condition caused by non-specific granulomatous inflammation of the cavernous sinus, superior orbital fissure, or orbital apex. It is diagnosis of exclusion and should be investigated fully. Presentation is with uh, ipsilateral, periorbital, or hemicranial pain and diplopia due to ocular motor nerve paresis with pupillary and eyelid involvement in many cases. Uh, proctosis, if present, is usually mild. Sensory loss along the distribution of first and second divisions of trigeminal nerve is common. The patient may be pyrexial. Diagnosis is with imaging. Together with the investigations to root out identifiable causes including neoplasia. Uh, treatment is with the systemic steroids and other immunosuppressants as necessary. The clinical course is characterized by remission and recurrences. Next syndrome is granulomatosis with polyangitis, uh, which was previously called uh, Bedner's granulomatosis. It is also an idiopathic multisystem uh, granulomatous disorder that may involve the orbit, often bilaterally, usually by contiguous spread from the paranasal sinuses or nasopharynx. Uh, primary orbital involvement is less common. This condition should be considered in any patient with bilateral orbital inflammation, particularly if associated with sinus pathology. Uh, anti uh, nucleo, neutrophilic cytoplasmic antibody CNK variant is a useful serological test, as we are going to discuss. Other ocular features include scleritis, peripheral ulcerative keratitis, intraocular inflammation and retinal vascular occlusion. So anti-neutrophilic cytoplasmic antibody or CNK variant is a useful serological test. Treatment is with cyclophosphamide and steroids which are useful, effect, uh, usually effective. In resistant cases, cyclosporin, isothyrin, anti-thymocyte globulin 
or plasma pheresis may be useful. Surgical decompression may be required for severe orbital involvement. Uh, so that is it with some of the miscellaneous disorders of the orbit. Uh, if you like the lecture, please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you all.